As you already know, we can create simple copies of an object in Blender by using the shortcut key Shift D on the keyboard. This can be also done by using the copy paste menu options from here. Now, instead of this, we have another method of creating a copy, which is called a linked copy. For that, we have to press the key Alt D. It will then create a copy of the selected object, which is more powerful because it maintains a link between the two objects. For example, they share the same material. And if there is any modifier added to the original object like this, it will also get duplicated for the new object. This happens also for a normal copy, but there are certain other differences. If we add any keyframe for one of the linked copies, all other copies of that object will get the same keyframes. Let us keyframe this, and then go to some other frame. We'll see that both the objects are now placed together, because for the original glass object, these two values also got changed, following its linked copy. They now have the same keyframes. For the original object, if we try to change these fields back to zero, and let's say we then reassign the keyframes, it will look like they got separated. But as soon as we move to another frame, we'll see that they again got together, because the keyframes for the linked copy also got changed to zero. This small difference in their heights is because of this Z value, which is different for the two copies. So basically, you can change the non-key values separately for each object, they are not linked, and they do not get duplicated to the linked copies, but as soon as you keyframe any value, it immediately gets copied to all others. And, if you still want to create an offset between them, on the key fields, you can do that, using this delta transform. For example, if we change this X location field for one of them, it will actually change, without impacting the other, so they will maintain a separation. Let us also verify what is happening in the timeline. Here, we have these keyframes for this object. We'll try to make some change here. Let us move these keyframes toward the right. Maybe like this. If we select this copy, we can see that it has the exact same keyframes. Or, let's change something else. If we say delete some keyframe here, you will see that the same change has happened for the linked copy as well. This is a quick way to animate multiple copies of an object, but if you don't want to link their animations, you can even break this relation among all the copies, and just animate them separately. First, select the objects together. Then go to the object menu. Under relations, go to this make single user, and you have to select object animation. Now they will follow separate animations, no link between their animation data anymore. So for this copy of the glass, let us select all the keyframes here. We can then make some changes, or maybe we move them toward the left, like this. If you now select the original glass, it will have its own keyframes, not impacted by the changes here. So linked copy helps us to share the same animation data among multiple objects, but probably in even better use cases, when you edit the shape of an object, and you want the same change to apply for all its copies. So let us select this object, and go to the edit mode. Here, we'll first select all the vertices on the top end of this glass. If we then change the shape of the glass like this, you can see that the shape of the other copy is also changing in the same way. As they are linked copies, they share the same mesh data, so they always look the same, with the same geometry. We often make things that are similar, like some windows, or maybe the legs of a table that must look the same. So you can make them as linked copies, if you then change any one of them in the later part of your modeling, the change will get applied to all the copies equally, saving a lot of your effort. But in case you want to break this relationship, first select all the linked copies, and go to the object menu. Then under the relations, we have to go to make single user, and this time select this object and data option, and they want share their shapes. Let us select the same object, and once again go to the edit mode. The vertices are already selected for this object. If we now change its shape, just like before, we'll see that the change is not duplicated on its linked copy, so you get two separate objects, which you can edit separately like a normal copy. Now, if you have any light object like this in your scene, and you create a linked copy of that light, with the Alt-D option we discussed, the light properties of these two lights will be linked to each other. For example, let us change any one light, maybe we can change its color. You will discover that it will change the color of the other light as well. And for this one, if say we increase the power, to 4000, the other light will also get the same change in its power, as visible here. 
Or, if you change this to a sun type light, with some lower strength value, say 5, you'll see that the other light also changed to a sun type, with the same intensity value of 5. So you can add multiple such linked lights into a scene, and control their properties by changing any one of them. Then, let's say you created some objects like these, by simple copy or shift D, so they are not linked copies, but you can still link them together, and make them exactly like some linked copies, it is very much possible. First, select all these objects. After that, select that particular object, which should guide the properties of the other objects. This selection will be highlighted in yellow color, while the other objects will be in orange. This means it is our last selected object, or the active object. Now go to the object menu, and under link or transfer data, you have multiple options, it depends on which properties you want to use for the object linking. For example, you can link them through their materials, or you can just link their animation properties, or you can link them via object data, in which case you can control the shape of all the objects together. So let us go with this object data option. As a result, you can see that the shape of all these objects have now changed to that of this active object, which we selected at the end. But these are now linked copies, so we can change the shape of any one of them, and the others will follow the same change. So let us select any one of these copies. And then go to the edit mode. We'll make a selection of all its vertices at the top end, and change the shape like this. You can see that all other copies also change together with this. So you can link some objects this way, even when they are not created initially as linked copies. It can be useful when you have realized the need of a linked copy, at the middle of your design. So, that's all for today, I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.